right guys stitch that around and then I just did a straight and then a zigzag and then finish off with a straight so now I'm going to put these little faux buttons on here So yeah, there's a lot of little textures going on. And then now, I'll get this glued and then trim that down to fit. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I like that. That's good. So now let me just snip off that little little corner there. Okay, I've got another little stamp here, guys. I want to get stamped out. I'm hoping that will fit in that pocket without it. I hope so. It might be a little bit too big, but I love this stamp. And again, this was a free set with one of the... Uh, Oh, that doesn't work. One of the craft and uh, stamping books here in the UK, and I believe it's a. You can get it in the US, but this has been a. You know, it's long past. You won't get it now, but. Well, I say that. Sometimes you can find those things. Gosh, that stamp seems a little bit strange. Hmm. I'll have to check on that. That might need a good old clean. But I threw the magazine out because the ma magazine was junk. Um, so I can't even remember what it was. <laughs> um, but yeah, every now and then you can get some good stamps in those little... It's like Creative Stamper or something. But uh, I don't generally buy them because they're not that great. Uh, of a magazine and the stamps and dies they give you are usually not worth because the magazines are like ten dollars and I'd rather spend the money on stamps I actually want okay I'm hoping 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 that's gonna fit that pocket because that was oh yeah perfect okay now let me get some pretty Isn't that a pretty little stamp? Okay, here's some sorry. 
I'll go put a little bit of uh, linen thread on this as well. There's a little scrappy piece. So yes, the next thing I've got to uh, do is we've got to finish up these uh, December dailies and then yeah I'm kind of excited I just got in a new kit from <clears throat> Stephanie at my porch prints it's been a while since I did a design team project for her she's my only designer now by the way guys I'll do some guests uh, here and there but but yeah, I, I've scaled back on my design team projects. So, oh, okay. When I when this closes, that's gonna affect that. So I might have to. Mm, yeah, I have probably have to turn that when it's closed, and then you can position. Okay. Well, anyways, that's that. Now, let's get. I want to put a couple of these little shabby ledgers in. So let me pull my... Not that you care about seeing it. I, I hate to be off on the side work, and sometimes it, I, I do that, and then afterwards I think, oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> um, so yes, I'm, I've got... A new kit from her which is among the wildflowers and of course it's it coordinates with her <coughs> wildflower botanical I think might have been the name of the other one so I haven't printed it out yet but that's going to be as soon as I'm done with this video I'm going to start printing but it's a very my printer is so slow <coughs> that it's it's a you know it takes hours to get kits printed um, but I'll get that, and that's, I'm so excited to start working with that kit. Um, I've come to the conclusion that when I'm not feeling that inspired, it helps if I have a really nice kit to work with. I want to put a little stamp up here, because that seems very plain. So, let me see what I can find. I think maybe like a bird or something. Actually, scrap that. I think I'm just going to put, I'm going to do a punch with um, a little butterfly. Let me see if I've got anything that I could use here. Okay, I'll come back to that, guys, because um, yeah, these are going to be tall as well. I wonder if I could put those. Yeah, let me tuck those behind here. That will fit nice there. I mean, I could actually. The same problem though when I fold that. Yeah, I think I might do that, guys. So I need a couple of little things to go there. Alright, guys, let me do a quick little tidy up, get organized, because I want to now start coming back and let's do some embellishing. Um, so I'll. Okay, guys, I got myself organized now and. Uh, as per usual, I've changed my mind on what I'm going to do here. So, I've got, these are my porch prints. I've just cut out a little label. Um, you could use any shape. And then I've cut out with my little butterfly punches a couple of those. And I just want to ink these. around the edges a little bit just to make them stand out 
a bit more. And I just punched that out of some of the coordinating paper. And these are also uh, in Stephanie's shop, though. She's got little words, and I thought that would be sweet to add that as well. So let's just work on this for a minute. Let's get a little bit of cheesecloth. That's a bit much, so I'll cut that down. Get a little bit of glue there, get that down. <coughs> now you, <coughs> when you're doing these butterflies, you can stitch them together, but today I'll just, I'll just glue it. And then that way, if you just glue the center of that, it can be, um, you know, pulled up so that it's got some dimension. Gosh, my fingers are covered in glue. <laughs> Alright, so I better get the word down before I put that butterfly. So I'm just going to have that hanging off the, the little um, label, the little label. And then just get a bit of glue on this butterfly here. So now, what I think is that's going to be pretty there, and I'm going to leave it open at the bottom so it could serve as a little tuck spot as well. And gosh, I guess in fact, let's just go ahead and add something, shall we? I'm sure I've got loads of little cards here. really small ones. I think I'll just, uh, that's a pretty one. I'm drawn to that, so I'm going to put that one there. And again, this is my porch prints. Uh, isn't it? Yikes. Okay. I'll just tuck it in there like that. Yeah, that's fine. It's just so the person that receives this will know that that's also a little tuck spot. Alright, so I've just cut out a tiny, tiny little butterfly. I'm going to add that. up here. Just making sure that it's not going to get squished when I uh, fold that over. There we go. Okay. So I kind of want to get this closed, guys, and see how it's looking. Oh yeah, it's getting chunky. Okay, so what I... I've just, like I said, got loads of scraps and, uh, you know, different things from different designers. I'm just going to fill this with lots of little journal cards. And I'm going to have that on the front just because I think that's super, super pretty. And, you know... Let me see, I wanted to, let me stencil this little, because this was a leftover tag I've got. I'm just going to do some stenciling on that. I love this stencil. This is the Tim Holtz. I just recently got this, these three stencils, and I love, love, love those. 
so, so pretty. Let's see, where am I? I'll stick him in here. Because there's not much going on in that pocket. But I am getting concerned about how thick this is going to be now. Alright guys, let's, let's see how we're doing. Because I want to get this front belly band. So that's, see I've added that little lace thing back in. So now... She's pretty chunky, but I'm actually very happy with that. Um, um, I think I want a couple of these phrases on the tabs. I do. because I just feel like they need to be on there. So let me add that. Yep, and then I feel like there needs to be one back there. So just let me think again here. Believe, beautiful, imagine. Let's go with imagine. Imagine and dream. Yep, change of plans. I'll save the beautiful for another project because it, it's, I want this to be kind of like a inspiring file folder. That's what I feel. I feel like we need inspiration right now. Okay. Yep, that's the ones I'm going to go with. So let me get those on there because I think that's going to make a difference on how it all looks. And I've got a, an idea for the closure on this. I hope you guys will like. This is just a little heart that I punched out, and I'm going to put that there. And I'll put, I'll put another one on the back. Okay, so... This needs something. This needs some color. That's all too. Okay, I've got to add some color to that. Let me see, guys, what we can add. Um, these are some of Stephanie's. I think that, maybe that one. Oh, I don't know. one because I'll have to trim it down slightly. Gosh, yeah, that's going to have to have a lot <clears throat> trimmed off. Let me see. Okay, I'm going to add some lace to the top of that. I'm going to grab some here. All 
Alright guys, I'm going to go stitch around this and I think I might uh, let's see if I put a little bit of the lace and maybe a flower on that. I'll be right back. Alright, I've stitched that on and I've got out my little little box of flowers. I'm just going to add that to it because that really is very, very plain. Bit too much glue, but that's okay, that'll dry. So, okay, all right, guys, that's that's that. Let's move on. We are needing to get this front done. Oh, I do like that. That's coming out nice. Alright, so what I've decided on the front is I've made this little embellishment with two of the um, graduated dies, and then I added a couple of little flowers and pearls and I see I'm missing a little center there. Some of my um, some of my little gems I've had for a while and they aren't sticking that great because they've been moved around and in storage and whew, if they could tell a story. <laughs> um so I want that, but I also want, and this is going to be tricky, this is where I wish I had some elastic, because I, it would be nice if this was a, a, a elasticized what I've got in mind. So I want this on muslin, but... I've got all of my leftover papers. <clears throat> so, the first thing I need to do is get myself a bit of fabric, and we are going to build a layered uh, band. I'm hoping that will work on this. And the reason I'm saying I'm hoping is because this doesn't have elastic. I'm really hoping I can do this properly so that it comes out. So what I'm going to do is have to stitch. But it doesn't matter, guys, because um, it's not going to show. Okay. stitch these together and then um, I'm going to take strips of different papers and then the final thing will be, be this so this is what I'm saying that's not going to show that I've joined two pieces so let me do that I'm sorry for all these breaks guys but there's no other way to do it so I'm going to stitch that come back and get this measured um, and, and we'll get on with this Alright guys, I've got that sewn together, but before we do anything else, let's go ahead and start getting our paper torn. And hopefully it's going to come out the way I've got it in my head. 
Um, now some of this is going to get cut off because I won't know until the end. Um, well, I don't know. Should I do it? Go ahead and measure it off. Yeah, I'll take a bit off because I don't want to waste too much. So I'm going to take it down to that because it's going to have to be snug to slide on and off of that. So we've got that. Let's get these papers. Um, and you'll soon learn that um, sometimes I end up covering up stuff. I mean, it's just... But I do like to add... Uh, lots of these scraps <clears throat> to my projects. <clears throat> and don't don't tear them all the same width because you want to start creating a, a layered look to it. You know, if you're going to make the closure the way I am, but this is how I do it. And it is a great use, guys, of your extra book pages. and I don't want to cover up all the, the material, so... So just start tearing it and uh, placing things here and there until you get it the way you like it. down. Normally I would not put the glue guys. I would take this to the machine and I'd just actually do it all in one go while I'm sitting there. But for the purposes of this um, we're adding a different step because you guys need to kind of see how how I just end up placing everything. Like I said, some of it you'll come back and you'll, you'll cover it up, but that's the random, how you get it, you know, random looking, so. And then the very final thing is going to be this. straight across there. So see? Alright, you probably can't see it that great. Let me stitch it guys and I'll show you up close how that's looking. Okay guys, there. Now you can see a bit better on how that's all coming together. So it's getting warm in my space guys, so we are going to wrap this up. Now what I'm going to do is just wrap this around. And hope, hope, hope against hope that I've done this correctly. Oh yeah. So what we want to do, I need to stitch that because I want that. I don't trust the glue, do you see? So I'm going to have to run that through. I'm not even going to shut the camera off, guys. I'll be right back.
Okay, guys, now, now I'm hoping <laughs> that I've got it to where I can get it on there. Because it's got to be snug, but, and this is why I said I, the glue I don't feel would be, ah, oh, sweet. That's come out perfect. Very, very happy with that. Trying to get that a bit more centered, and now... That's where I'm going to glue that with the Fabri-Tac. And be, be generous. And then we are not going to disturb that. There she is. Just want to make sure that gets glued down really, really well to that. Isn't that awesome? There you go. I'm very, very happy with that. I've got a couple more of these cut out, and I'm hoping once I get all these December dailies done, oh, I don't know, guys. I got so many things I want to do. You know how it is. The list just gets longer. It never shortens. But um, I'm really, really happy with that. It's not too, too big. I think it still would fall under Happy Mail in my mind. Just probably not international. Because <laughs> it's pretty hefty. But I hope you guys have enjoyed that uh, The series. That's flip back through again. I'll leave that to the side. I'm not going to disturb that anymore. So we go down. This is what she looks like. Got a nice little writing space here with a little tuck spot. And then here we've got all the little bits of ephemera that we tucked into this pucker. Oh yeah, I've got that one as well. Got our uh, double pockets here that we've made. That flips down. We've got our belly band with more ephemera. Then we've got this little tuck spot here with a couple of little journaling cards. This flips over. We've got another little pocket that flips out. Left this so we could add a photo of a special event. Wouldn't this be pretty for like um, a sweet 16 birthday? I don't know why. I just think that that looks so sweet for um, for like a birthday <coughs> memories, you know. And then we've got the three little weekly planners that we've just kept together. That little journal card all tucked into this one. And there it is, guys. Yep. There she is. I've enjoyed this project. It's, uh, I think I needed something like this. I love the colors, and uh, it's been a lot of fun. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And if you've got any questions, just leave in the comments below, and I'll, I'll, I'll address those as, as quick as I possibly can. Thank you so much for... Uh, being here and supporting me. I, I really do appreciate it. I'm not going to put that on right now, guys, because I want that to glue. But I hope you've enjoyed that, and uh, I'll be back very soon with more things to create. Take care, guys. Bye.